Hi folks and welcome to Mr. Herbert Science Class. Today we're going to change some parts on the Blade CX-2. I have the new E-Flight aluminum parts here. This is what we're going to put on. We have the uh, inner shaft with the aluminum head block on it and we have the uh, aluminum lower head and that uh, comes also with the Allen screws and the Allen wrench. These are both from E-Flight. Uh, the list price on this $17.99 on that one and $16.99 on this one. Uh, they're normally $21.99 and $21.99. So let's put it together. First thing we have to do is remove the body. Okay, first I remove the rubber grommet from that rod and then go ahead and pull this complete rod out of here. And that takes care of the upper. Now we have to do the same thing with the bottom one. Pull that out and we're all set to remove the canopy. Here you can see there's two Phillips screws on that retaining hub. So we have to unscrew it with the screwdriver. Okay, next I'm going to grab the rotor head on the top here and pull this up. There it comes. And the gear falls off on the bottom. And there your upper shaft. Next I'm going to pop off the ball links like that. Set them aside. Now I'm just going to unscrew the blades. The screws right here is one on each side. Now I just unscrew these two screws on both sides of this hub. Next we pull off this upper bearing and slide this off the end now. So now we've got the bearing off the top. Let's go ahead and slide on the new part right here on top. Just tighten this up with the Allen screw. Okay, if you look at that push rod arm, you can see that the rod is actually hooked to the inner hole. I'm going to move it out a little further, one extra hole, and that will give it more throw. See, as I move this up and down that moves the swash plate. However, at neutral stick, it's uh, it's not perpendicular. So I'm going to change that and give it a little more control. Okay, now we take the inner shaft and we slide that in here right to the bottom. Now all we have to do is put this gear on. Put the gear on the bottom. Once this gear is on and lined up with the flat spot on the shaft, put on this retaining. Okay, we want to check out the servo movement now that I put the control rod one hole out. Uh, this is your up and down or four and a half stick. The right stick is your aileron or roll and so that would be right and left and then of course the throttle on the other side okay it all looks good All right, let's put the wings on. Okay, I've got the blades on. They screw on both sides. Make sure when you then connect up your uh, control rod from your swash plate that the slot, these bottom uh, extensions are stuck in the slot. Now let's go ahead and spin this lower blade now. See how that works. The blade's on and the lower hub. Okay, I've taken the fly bar weights and uh, they just drop into this little slot on top and there's a little blue cap on top of this thing. And you just screw that down on there and uh, then everything is fine. So that looks pretty good. Let's put the blades on. Okay, that looks pretty good.
Okay, everything's good, the tracking is good. Let's go ahead and put the body back on. Just change the blades and the heads. And uh, let's give it a try and see how it works. Here we go. Good, piece of cake.